Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at this 26,800 milliamp hour power bank from RAV Power. Now the exact model is RPPB41, not exactly the easiest model number to remember, but 26,800 milliamp hours, that's pretty impressive. And this actually has three USB ports on the output. Now I will be showing you this closer in a minute, but for now I just want to tell you the basics about this. Now a nice thing about this power bank is it comes with a protective case, so you put it in there throw that in your bag it's now protected against scratches it's protected against minor bumps and it's less likely that anything is going to get in the usb ports because of course they're protected by the fabric of this case so i do like that and i really wish more power banks came with cases and what you also get and you get this with all of the rav power power banks as far as i know is a charge cable for the power bank itself and another charge cable for your device a micro usb cable now you might look at this and think well so what, it's another micro USB cable. Yeah, it's a flat cable so it doesn't tangle, but I've got a million micro USB cables. Why are they including them? Well, these are not your average micro USB cables. These are high quality. They're using nice thick wires inside. What that means is that you can charge your power bank nice and quick. If you use a generic cable, especially if it's a longer cable, you might struggle to charge this thing as quickly. So my advice, and I'm gonna demo this for you later, but my advice is use the cable they supplied. It's short for a reason. It's gonna charge your power bank much faster than the average generic long cable. Now, some of you might be looking at this and thinking, didn't you review that before? And the one you're thinking of is this one. This is the RPPB043. So yes, they look pretty much identical, but there are some differences. For a start, the new one, the one that I'm reviewing today, has three USB ports, whereas this one I reviewed before has two USB ports and then a Type-C input or output. And this one that I reviewed before is only around 20,000 milliamp hour. Now you might be looking at these and thinking, well, how did they go from 20,000 milliamp hour to nearly 28,000 milliamp hour? Uh, you might be thinking, oh, it's some kind of trick. No, you can feel the weight is different. The reason is that this one that I reviewed before has Qualcomm quick charge on the input and the output and I suspect it might have separate circuitry for the type C port so that actually consumes a large portion of this power bank and that's why if you like hold it like this it's off weight all of the batteries are here and all the circuitry are here so that's how they've managed to cram more power into this new one now of course the downside of that is that there's no longer Qualcomm quick charge on the input or the output it's a standard 2 amp input which is okay but for a power bank this fast it means you're gonna have to plug it in at night when you go to sleep and then unplug it when you wake up it's really going to take the whole night to charge on a two amp charger now for many people that's not a problem but for people who really want like the super fast charging you're going to want to go with this other one which i reviewed before i'll put a link to this in the video description down below and this one has qualcomm quick charge for faster charging now some of you might look at the price of rav power power banks and think why would i pay that much when i can go and buy a generic for like half the price the thing is those generics often lie about the capacity, about the features, about how long it takes to recharge. So if you look at this one here, which I'm going to do a video about, this one claims to be Samsung, which is not true, by the way, this is fake. Um, it claims to be 188,000 milliamp hour. So 28,000 from a reputable brand, 188,000. Look at the size difference, the weight difference. It's nonsense. These fake ones, they're a waste of money. Um, watch out for the video about this. So yes, you're paying a little bit extra because you're getting good quality. And you're also getting a warranty. For instance, in the US, the UK, even here in the Philippines, you have a genuine warranty. Whereas with those generic power banks, it's pretty much, you know, the warranty lasts until you walk out the door and then you're on your own. So yes, let's point the camera down and take a closer look at this power bank. And now it's time to test if the advertised capacity of this power bank is true. And for that, we're gonna use my USB watt meter and my USB dummy load. I'm gonna set this to one amp, let me zoom in. So I'll just increase that. Let me set it roughly to one amp. And there you go. We'll now leave this to discharge 5.2 volts, one amp around five watts. And we just leave this and come back when it's finished and see what the true capacity of this is. So it's been over 16 hours and the test has finished. Let me unplug it and we'll check what the outcome was. So you can see we pulled out a total of 87.86 watt hours. Let me write that down. 
Now if we check the back of the power bank, it says 26,800 milliamp hour or 99.16 watt hour. Now you might look at this and think, well, 87 watt hours is not 99 watt hours. But the thing you have to remember is there is some losses going from the internal voltage of 3.7 volts to the output here, which is five volts. So generally there's an allowance of around 10%. So let me work out what the percentage difference is between these numbers. Okay, so a quick bit of math on my phone, and that works out to be around 12%. And this is actually pretty much exactly the same as what we saw in their other power bank. It was around 12%. Now that is close enough to say that yes, this is a genuine 26,800 milliamp hour. So that is a huge capacity. Very good result. Now let's test if this really can handle two amp on the input. To start with, I'm gonna use this generic cable from another device just to show you what happens if you don't use a good quality cable. So I'll zoom in on the watt meter here and you can see it's drawing around 0.7 amp or 3.94 watts. This is what happens if you use a low quality cable and this is why they include a good high quality cable and a short cable in the box. So let's try the same test again, but this time using the cable that they supplied and I'll zoom in on the watt meter. You can see it's still negotiating, give it a moment. And there you go, two amp, 10.8 watts. So that's gonna charge nice and quick. So make sure you use the cable that they supply or another good quality cable. For example, I've got these two cables here. They were quite expensive, but they've got thick wires inside. They're a higher gauge wire. So these can actually handle the higher current also. But honestly, you might as well just use the cable that they give you because it's a good quality cable. Now, one of the problems I've had in the past with multi-port chargers is that the USB ports were spaced too close together and I couldn't actually plug in many things at once. But as you can see on this power bank, that's not a problem. I've got my phone plugged in, I've got this USB light bulb plugged in and I've got my USB fan plugged in. So all of these are plugged in at once side by side. Let me just slowly unplug these. There you go. So they've done a good job at spacing out the USB ports here. Now, if we take a look at the back of the power bank, we can see the specs. It says 26,800 milliamp hour, DC input of five volts, 2.1 amp maximum, and then the output up to 5.5 amp spread across all the different USB ports. So that's what I wanna test. Can you really pull out 5.5 amp spread across these ports? And there you go. We're drawing just under two amp here, one amp here, and another 2.5 amp here. So that's basically 5.5 amp. So yes, it can handle the 5.5 amp on the output, which is spread across the three USB ports. And to be honest, I expected that because again, this is a genuine high quality power bank. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a pretty hefty power bank. I think this is perfect for anyone who's like a road warrior. They're always moving around. They need to keep all their devices charged or even a family. You know, you can have mum's phone plugged in here, dad's phone plugged in here, and then the kid's tablet plugged in here. Having those three ports is, it's really a nice feature. Yes, it will take overnight to charge, but is that really a big deal? You're sleeping anyway. You just plug in, let it charge, unplug it when you wake up. Pretty simple. So if you're interested in buying this you can find a link in the video description down below to buy it here in the Philippines the US and the UK you can also find it in other countries but that's my primary audience here on the channel so if you're from another country just message me and I will try and help you find somewhere to buy it so if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching